Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, I listen to this debate and I get more and more confused. Um, the gentleman from Pennsylvania said that Vladimir Putin was not put on this list because he's a communist, yet the gentleman mentioned communism several times. The general lady just talked about uh, the Communist Manifesto. When I'm looking at the list of people that are, that, that are mentioned, uh, among them is Pol Pot, who uh, was, I think everybody believes, was, was viewed as a communist. So again, I'm just trying to figure out, like, why wasn't Putin included on this list? Did, uh, did, did somebody get a call from the Mar-a-Lago prison line that uh, you couldn't put Putin on this list? I mean, what was, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't quite get it. Um, and again, I'm also just stunned that um, last night, I mean, uh, we offered the Gottheimer Amendment, and this, and this the language basically says that fascism led to the murder of six million Jewish people by the Nazi regime. Everybody, everybody on the Republican side voted no. And, and, and this is like, the, and again, you know, um, we asked for some clarification on really what, what the guts of the bill was, which is the resolve clause. What are you talking about? What policies are you against here in the United States? And we asked um, to make the Takano Amendment in order, uh, which would basically say that, uh, that, that Social Security um, and that uh, Medicare would be exempt from any cuts, that this was not what the intention was. And every one of the Republicans, every one of them voted no. There was a gentleman who just came down on the floor saying, I don't know why everybody's saying Republicans want to cut Social Security and Medicare. You know why? Because of what happened last night in the Rules Committee. Mr. Speaker, um, last night, as I mentioned, the Rules Committee, the Democrats offered an amendment that would clarify that any opposition to socialist policy implementation in the United States does not include existing federal programs such as Medicare, Social Security, TRICARE, VA healthcare, and VA home loan program, VA burial benefits, and VA homelessness programs. My Republican colleagues voted against it. Well, we want to get, give them a second chance to get this right. Um, so if we defeat the previous question, I will offer an amendment to this rule to include this important amendment and give every member on the floor the opportunity to clarify that existing federal programs like Social Security and Medicare are not under attack by this new Congress. And, you know, forgive us if we are concerned, but rhetoric from many members on the other side of the aisle, past and present, give us, give us, give us pause. Republicans have called Social Security a socialist program. I remember when Newt Gingrich wanted Medicare to wither on the vine. So, Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to insert the text of my amendment into the record along with any extraneous materials immediately prior to the vote on the previous question. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, Social Security is the bedrock of our nation's social, social safety net. Since its inception, it has lifted millions of our seniors out of poverty, protecting the benefits, uh, uh, protecting uh, the, the benefits and, uh, and other programs should provide, uh, sh should be a priority for this Congress. Um, as my Republican colleagues demand reckless cuts in exchange for paying for our nation's bills, we on the Democratic side are going to remain unified uh, in doing everything we can to protect these important programs. To discuss our proposal, I yield uh, three minutes.